Hey guys, Severin back here. And today I'm just going to ramble and complain about the state of PlayStation and some of the decisions they're making lately. Um, I love PlayStation. It's been my primary console uh, since the PlayStation 3. I've had every single PlayStation in my house at one point. Uh, I currently have every single PlayStation. Um, PS5 is my favorite console ever. I love it. I Partly because it plays the PS4, streams the PS3. You can play every single generation of PlayStation in some way or another. Um, trophies. You know, there's, it's not perfect. I don't think any console is. But it's it's amazing. But they are making some terrible decisions, and we'll start with Concord. Uh, it it's just going to be a bleep on the radar. That's my prediction. It's who needs another hero shooter? Come on, man! It it looks terrible. I watched it during the state of play, and uh, it looks like a watered down China version of Overwatch, um, and Guardians of the Galaxy. It it looks terrible. I don't want to watch cutscenes. I don't care about. The characters, they look ridiculous. It's corny looking. The gunplay and stuff may be okay, and the game may be well made. But when you've got Overwatch 2 and Apex and Fortnite and Call of Duty, um, Warzone, who is going to pick up and pay $40 for a game that you can go play for free that's probably just as good? I've never played Overwatch or Overwatch 2. I'm not interested in hero shooters. I think it's a bad idea myself. I'm just not into them. Um, so that may be part of why I think it's a bad idea. But the internet seems to think it's a bad idea too. I'm not alone in thinking that it's going to be a huge failure. And Sony at one point was uh, making like 14 of these live service games. And now they cut it back. Um, maybe after seeing some failures that have come out lately. Just go look it up. I mean, there's been a lot of these that come out and just do terribly. And this one's forty dollars, and then they're going to offer, you know, cosmetics or whatever, uh, all these microtransactions, all this BS. Um, that's that's not going over well with the PlayStation community or gamers, you know, in general. It's just it's a bad business idea. You're going to have my my personal opinion is if you are going to have microtransactions tra all in your game, the game should be free. Um, even if they're cosmetic, I don't like to be bombarded with, I've already bought the game. I don't want to buy anything else. I mean, I guess some people are okay with that, but I just hate that. The only reason it's okay in some instances, if like you're buying like extra content that comes out later, half the time I feel like all the content's there and then, or already made and they're just selling more crap. It's, it's so obnoxious, but Concord is, it looks stupid and it's going to be a massive flop. That's, that's just one failure is their direction to even make six live service games or seven or however many they're making. Stick with single player games. Yeah, work on a Call of Duty competitor instead of going to court for, you know, all, uh, over Call of Duty on your console. I know it's important. I know it, you know, it, it makes a lot of money. But, like, put all this money into, like, I don't know. It's just bad direction. I don't like what they're doing. And, you know, I would say... The first three years of the PS5's life cycle, um, there, there weren't a ton of cracks, but now they're starting to show um, where they're still making PS4 games. Like, give that console up. You sold us a $500 machine that people can play on the same games on PS4. There's very few just PS5-only games. I mean, there's, you know, um, let's see, uh, Demon's Souls. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Returnal, Final Fantasy 16, which isn't, that's going to come to PC and other platforms. Um, what else do we have? Spider-Man 2, and the, you know, of course there's going to be some I'm going to forget or whatever, but you've got like Ragnarok on the PS4, Horizon um, Forbidden West on the PS4, Sackboy's Big Adventure on the PS4, um, Gran Turismo 7 I think is only on um, PS5, but I mean, it's ridiculous. And if they're not on the PS4, they're on PC. So it's like they are pushing people away by doing that, especially the PS4 thing. Like, if, if it's capable of being played on a last-gen console, then maybe you shouldn't have sold it yet. Or You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's frustrating. 
I, I'm my the game I'm playing right now is a PS4 game. I play a lot of PS4 games. That's why I love the consoles because my biggest collection is PS4. But I'm not gonna get the PS6 as at right now. You know, I may change my mind, but right now I'm not. I, I'm I'm gonna just probably stick with the PS5, collect for it. You know, because it's still a good console and there's a ton of games. Even if they're on PC, I'd rather have it on PlayStation right now and then get trophies and whatnot. But this generation, maybe the next year or so, I'm going to purchase a PC. But PS4 is has been around and is overstaying its welcome. They are still making games for the PS4 that are also coming on PS5. It is insane to me. Call of Duty is probably, the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is probably going to be on the PS4. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's just outrageous. Um, anyway, it, it surely this frustrates other people. Like, I have one of my buddies in the group, I guess, but he uh, still hasn't upgraded to the PS5. And, you know, we used to hassle him about it, but the longer it goes on, I'm like, well, they're still making games for the PS4. Uh it's, it, I don't know, man, what's going on with, with gaming right now. Um, but, I, you know, I know it was hard to get them and all that stuff. It was real hard. I was lucky enough to get mine day one. I'll have to tell that story in another video about me getting my PS5. But I've been around since the beginning. And at first, you know, there were some bangers coming out. And there's still, I mean, a ton of games. But I play a lot of indie games right now and just smaller budget games. Um, like, I haven't played Spider-Man 2. I haven't played Ragnarok. Um, I played Forbidden West, didn't love it. Um, all the, I mean, it's just remasters and Ghost of Tsushima and Death Stranding Director's Cut. And um, I mean, what is it? Like, let's see, Destruction All Stars, huge failure, live service. What are you doing? Um, there's just The Last of Us Part 2, The Last of Us Part 1 remake and remaster and remake and remaster. All this money they're spending in live service games. Put towards new IPs or, a, a, yeah, like a new shooting game, a new IP, like a strategy game, whatever. Make new games and stop. Oh, man, it's just frustrating. Um, every day that goes by, I'm closer and closer to just becoming a PC gamer for a ton of reasons. But PlayStation is making just some terrible decisions. You know, what was it, like six months or a year ago, they raised their prices um, just to play online. It's crazy i mean they're just pushing people away um every game like big games are coming to pc uh you're porting them over even if it's a year wait i mean i'm not i don't buy games like i i haven't bought spider-man 2 you know i'm gonna wait until it drops um so playstation is just making weird decisions the psvr 2 came out more than the, the I, you know i have it and it's a it's fun it came out and it's more than the ps5 that's dropped by two hundred dollars. Now they're just making terrible decisions. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of like invested in it, and it's exciting. And to to play new, I, you know, that's the first time I've ever had a VR, so you know, it's still neat. But five hundred and fifty dollars for a PSVR two with no games is insane. And when I got mine, it was broken. It, man, PlayStation and Xbox need to step it up. Um, or more and more people are going to move over. I think PS6 will probably be PlayStation's last console. That's my guess. And Xbox might make one more. Maybe not even. But PlayStation will probably make one more console. It'll probably be digital only. And I'm out. Or may, they'll make a, a separate you know, drive, uh, external drive, um, that'll play old games. But, man, it's just disappointing. Yeah, and why should I get a PS6 when this will be good for four years into the lifespan of the of the ps6 whatever man playstation do better